Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is the series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode. And we go hunting through the packs here, looking for creatures of the same tribe. So we're not really concerned with the Commander's color identity or any special abilities. We want to keep it as simple as possible. So let's take a look at the Commander today. So this is one I played in Standard a fair bit back in the day. So we have Yaheni Undying Partisan, legendary creature, Aetherborn Vampire, 2-2 two, two for 3 with haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Yaheni Undying Partisan. Nice. Sack another creature, Yaheni gains indestructible until end of turn. Alright, so let's pop this back in the sleeve and introduce the patron we have. Justice Catron, thank you for being a patron. And I am a poet, and I didn't even know it. Okay, there we are. So, these packs have tried to pick things with a bunch of vampires, so hopefully we'll have some luck today. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, such as Persistent Petitioners. So this thing is still over a dollar. Uh, if you read the text there, you can probably figure out why, so I'll chuck that in. Next up we have Rubble Welt Runner, Prowling Caracal, Shimmer of Possibility, Territorial Boar, Plague White. Okay, that's a zombie, not a vampire. Okay, Catacomb Croc, he'll bite your arm off. Watch out, Chillbringer, Rubble Reading, Blade Juggler, Oars of Racketeers for the Uncommons, Windstorm Drake, Cult Guild Mage, Jace, you're just a puppet. You're just a puppet. And wasn't there a uh, one of the pets in MTG Arena? I thought there was a Jace puppet. Leave a note in the comments if you know about that. And rare is Hero of Precinct 1. Creature Human Warrior 2252. Two, two. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Alright, and an Orzov Guildgate and Beast token. Okay, on to Core 2020 and surely... With a Sorin on the packet, there must be at least one vampire in this core 2020 pack. Fingers crossed, we start off with Reduced to Ashes, Moment of Heroism, Blade Brand, Natural End, Winged Words, Mind Rot. You watch too many videos on this channel, you'll rot your mind. And discard two cards. And actually, I hear that everything is good if you just keep watching, you subscribe, you like. Uh, that problem will just clear right up. So I'm going to chuck this in for justice there. Enjoy. I know the patrons are very excited when they get a Mine Rock card. Moving on, we have Sedge Scorpion, Zephyr Charge, Griffin Sentinel, Growth Cycle. And Uncommons, Lightning Stormkin, Dragon Mage, Dragon Wizard, okay then. Aether Gust, and this one used to be over a buck, I'm not sure if it still is, but still good card, I'll put that in as well. And the rare, Embodiment of Agonies, Creature Demon 00 for 3 with Flying and Death Touch. It enters Battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 can on it for each different mana cost among non-land cards in your graveyard. I feel your pain, it's exquisite. Okay, that is a little disturbing. And a swamp and a Johnny's Pride Mate token. Moving on to guild. So, where are the vampires? They must be in here somewhere. Or we would settle for some shocklands, I'm sure. Okay, next up we have Wall of Mist. Wojak Bodyguard, Take Heart. Spinal Centipede, Vigor Spore Worm, Centaur Peacemaker, Whisper Agent, Capture Sphere, and this, uh, you can't tell me that is not a Pokemon Pokeball. I believe that is correct. Erstwhile Trooper, so we've got a Zombie Soldier, not a Vampire, less Maniacal Rage. Smelt Ward Minotaur for the Uncommons Rampaging Monument. Street Riot, and the rare is Quasi Duplicate. Sorcery for three, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. 
So it has jump start. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. Okay. And a Golgari, Gilgate, and Bird Illusion token. Moving on, Modern Horizons. Now, even if we don't find any vampires here, I'm sure a Ren and Stimpy would go down fantastically well. Because I have opened, I don't know how many boxes of this over the last year or so, have not found a single one. So let's see how we do today. We've got an elemental token. I'll chuck this in as well. What is this? Rebuild. We've got a snow-covered island, and the rare is Winds of Abandon. Sorcery for two. Exile target creature you don't control for each creature exiled this way. Its controller searches the library for a basic land card. Those players put those cards onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle their libraries. And it also has this overload ability here, four and two white. You may cast this spell for its overload cost. If you do, change its text by replacing all instances of target with each. That seems like entirely too much work for me. And Uncommon's Wall of Blossoms, which is apparently a plant wall. Interesting. Feaster of Fools, Baron Moor, and the Commons Wind Cooler Avon, Lancer Sliver. We would have been all set if we had a Sliver Commander. Return from Extinction. Alas, I think the Sliver Queen is way out of the budget for this series. Crozan Tusker. Iceberg Cancrix, Treetop Ambusher, Diabolic Edict, Phantasmal Form, Reckless Charge, and Wall of 1000 Cuts. Okay, so no vampires there either. What is happening? Alright, moving on, another Core 2020, and who's excited about Core 2021? It will be here in a matter of weeks. Quite crazy, the release schedule. I mean, you think um, all this stuff coming out. How am I finding the time to do it on here? How are you finding the time to buy it? Or the, the money, I should say. Ridiculous. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. Let's continue. We have Moat Piranhas. Act of Treason. Feral Abomination, which is a thrall, not a vampire. Ferocious Pup. Frost Lynx, Dagger Sail, Aeronaut Creature Goblin, okay. And Holy Indenture, Marauder's Axe, Sleep Paralysis, that is sort of spooky, Yoked Ox, and Uncommon's Uncaged Fury, Thought Distortion, <laughs> this will be us when we don't find any vampires, oh dear. Ancestral Blade, and a Mythic, yes! Cavalier of Thorns, Creature Elemental Knight, 5, 6, 4, 5 mana with Reach. So when it enters the battlefield, reveal the top 5 cards of your library, put a land card from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest into your graveyard. And when Cavalier of Thorns dies, you may exile it if you do put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. And a Swamp. And a zombie token. Okay, so we are doing nicely there. I'm not sure of the value of that mythic, but you know what? It's a mythic. I will take it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Hoping for some final pack magic here and some vampires. In Ravnica Allegiance, we have Twilight Panther. Sages Row Savant, Rubble Belt Recluse, Sylvan Brush Strider, Thirsting Shade, Aeromunculus, Rakdos Locket, yes, the best guild, clearly. Leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree. Chillbringer, Rubble Reading, Dagger Caster for the Uncommons, Clan Guild Mage, Junk Troller, are you trolling us, sir? And the rare... Oh, it's another mythic! Angel of Grace. Creature Angel 5-4 four for 5 with Flash and Flying. When it enters the battlefield in 2 end of turn, damage that will reduce your life total to less than 1 reduces it to 1 instead. Ooh, that seems a little uh, dangerous. And for 4 and 2 white, Exol Angel of Grace from your graveyard, your life total becomes 10. Okay, so... I'm guessing that has limited use, that card. And a foil 
Let's get some lighting here. There we go. Foil root snare. Check it out. And a Gruel, Gilgate, and Human Token. Okay, so this was a total bust as far as the vampires go, but we did get two mythics and a mind rot. That is the true highlight here. So there we are. Justice and joy. And stay tuned. Patrons snap pack videos coming up in another week or so. All right, so there we have it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.